Hey gamers, how's it go? Ing, let's play a game. Oh, so last time we got fucking owned. The queen is elegant and deadly. Last time we got fucking owned by the fucking king of dust. And that sucked. That was not good. So let's... Okay. Let's see how this one goes. Hopefully, better. At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? Mm -hmm. The acquiring of power, the retaining of power, and most importantly, the use of power. The very embodiment of the earth. Fire in the deep. That is home and heart. For you, it is a terrifying beast. Again, a token is at stake. A cave system, dark and deep. You stumble upon a strange, on some strange flaming creatures surrounding an old man. They turn to face you. The old man cringes in terror. Attack the creatures! They lumber towards you threateningly. Yeah, I bet they do. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Ow. Fifteen damage. Ow. Okay. God, I hate this camera. That's just unavoidable, huh? Wow, I'm gonna die in the first encounter. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I better get me something fucking good. Thank you, stranger, the old man says. I've traveled these tunnels for years, but I haven't seen lava golems this close to the surface since I was a boy. Oh, good. Ten health. Then I work harder to take it. Wow. Thanks. I'm only down half my health. What you have unleashed now. Lost in the swamp. The swamp returns again. Do not lose hope. Uh, smells appalling. Approach the figure. Pay five food. Suffice, follow me. Spooky, spooky swamp times. White Council 3! While resting at an inn in a small town, you are suddenly accosted by a young man. You! It's all your fault! You doomed the village of Dimsgate! Listen to his woes. The White Council thinks that we paid you to attack their men. In retribution, they have plagued our town with the undead. One day, a group of mages appeared out of nowhere and laid a curse on the town. Some men, my father included, tried to stop them. But it was hopeless. Their magical shields blocked every blow, and they conjured a hail of enchanted arrows that pierced our men through flesh, 
bone and organ. We had to abandon our village. Even now, a horde of, un of the living dead keeps us from returning. Offer to help. And so you should. You can start by returning to our village and clearing out the undead. Their numbers seem to be limitless. Well, I'm not traveling all the way back there. Sorry, guy. I wonder if that card will... Nope. Doesn't carry over. Do you understand what it is we do now? Or did I rush you through the rules, pushing you into the plate before you were prepared? Okay, metal ore. Marketplace. I'm surprised to find the recollection of a closed marketplace amongst your treasured memories. Um. Keep all my food. Leave the market. Oh, good, the swamp again. Once more, you struggle to find your. Approach the figure. Refuse help. No need of my help. Well, good luck to you. He wanders away, seeming to melt into the mist. The dank, misty forest that surrounds you is eerily quiet as you struggle through the fetid waters. Choose from these options. Oh, no! Creatures of the swamp discover you, and as you continue to search a way out, er. oh fuck me! Fuck me with ten skeletons! Get these fucking riflemen out of the way first. Then I can focus on the melees. Oh, the fuck! Skeletons come back now! What the fuck am I gonna do? Do they only come back once? Or am I just, like, doomed here? Okay, looks like they only come back once. That's something, at least. Also, I don't think I've taken damage yet. Ow. Well, leave it to a button press that doesn't do anything. So, change that. I love it when I press a button and it doesn't do the thing it's supposed to. Die and be dead and stay dead. Oh. When did you get back up? And why haven't you shot me? <sighs> okay. Three game cards. I'm sure you are grateful for that. This ring is sold. All the player's gold is lost, but the player receives one max health for it. Okay. Interesting. That all kind of sucked. Find your way out of the swamp after only a day of wandering. Ladder. Let's descend down a ladder into the unknown. Climb the ladder. Um, Think about the way we play this game. 
You continue to die, yet we reset the board each time. One has to wonder how it is possible to truly lose. Give up. Sea voyage. Sail away and see what you will find. Or the ship. All the world is a game board, and us men and women merely players. I alone do not play. I maintain the rules. You have choices, and I have predestined. Oh my god, you just talk and talk. Your choices, though, are merely a rediscovery of that which you already know. Tracks in town. You're traveling through a quiet hamlet. At first, its rural aspect appears quaintly serene, but as you near the center square... You realize the lack of activity is due to a disaster. A scene of great destruction reveals itself, and you wonder what army or force of nature besieged this place. You spot one villager retrieving their belongings from a pile of rubble that used to be their home. You call out to them. Damn it! Startled, the villager flees immediately without even a glance in your direction. Perhaps thievery, per not salvage, was their motive. The sharp taint of fear hangs in the air long after they disappeared into the nearby woods. <sighs> Lionel, Lionel, Lionel! The secrets of your memories. You'll gain new cards. Some you wish you'd left untouched. Great news! Mr. Lionel declares excitedly, bursting from the back of a wagon as it passes you along a well-trodden path through a sunny meadow. One of the Goblin King's sons has decided to challenge the old fool for his position as ruler of the, our people. Under Goblin law, he can legally take his father's place if he can beat him in single combat. But the king, crafty slug that he is, has hidden the crown in the treasure vaults. Without the crown, the leadership cannot be resolved. There must be chaos in the capital. Ask about the capital. Um... Okay, we've heard this before. Let's find a vault. We've seen all that before. We've done this before, and I failed to find the crown. Ow. 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 on what I couldn't see game that's not fair your camera angle prevented me from seeing that that's a dirty trick outside you meet up with mr. Lionel again did you get it? He asks excitedly. Quickly, you must have it! You hold up the goblin crown, an ugly wooden thing embedded with large gems for his inspection. The crown! My ticket home at last! Just as he reaches out to take the crown, a trio of goblins appear from the treasure vault, one of them saying, I'm telling you, there was a human down there! The goblins stop dead and stare at you. Look! One of them screams. He's taking the king's crown! Turn back to discover that Mr. Lionel is nowhere to be seen. Stop! Thief! One of the goblin guards yells as another goblin blows on his horn and ma a magical portal appears. More goblins begin to arrive, all yelling and pointing in your direction. Get him! yells one. Seize him! yells another. You're the king's favorite. You seize him! You decide to leave before the increasing number of goblin guards bolsters their courage enough to compel them into action. Seems there are more eons ahead. Hey, shut up. Shut up, my dude. Um, approach the shop. I could use healing. I could sure use healing. Boy, howdy. Alright, so I can't afford a blessing. But maybe I can afford 
some healing. That's at least something. Oh, glad I didn't go that way. Exit the cave. Your currency is spent, your memories tattered and torn, formed into mere cards for us to play with. Okay, I don't care about the mage. Maiden I'll take, though. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Ask to be blessed. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. Oh no, it's not that great, actually. Twisted Canyon. Climb down and retrieve it. Yeah! Undead Bane. Okay. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Loan. I don't have money, my dude. Sorry. Sleep at the end. There's nowhere safe to sleep, it would seem. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 we've done that. Three of dust, two of dust. Okay, so five bandits. That shouldn't be the worst. I'd love if they had been undead. Uh, bad time to have an itch, bad time to have an itch. Sword is very pretty. Hey, no damage. I think that encounter killed me last time. Thieves dealt with you accidentally wipe your brow with a hand slick bot. Um Oh yeah. That's right. Holy Forge. Let us stake a token on their foolish. Um Try and clean the rare metal of the ore. Uh, give the monk your sample of ore. The, monk, the monk's eyes widen in surprise. He, he exclaims, By the old gods! Where did you find that? He looks the metal over carefully. If you're willing to put in the hard work, stranger, together we could fire up the old forge one last time. You spent several days with the old monk. By day you toil together at the forge, and... By night, you swap tales of your adventures and share of his f for a share of his food. Eventually, you are com you hold the completed weapon in your hands. That seems better. Both in that it does more damage and has an effect that affects beyond things beyond undead. Thank you, warrior, for giving this old relic one last chance to prove its worth. Good luck on your journey. And I got a token. Neat. Traveling jeweler. Pass it by. Heroes remains. Hero needs sustenance badly. I sure fucking do, dude. Um, take the hero's belongings. Viking blade. No. Pain. Are you sure that's the right approach? Okay. Deeper towards our. Okay. Home. What happens now? Oh, I'm so fucked. He's out there now, waiting for you. 
Ratman hunting. Ooh, that might give food. Oh, the Queen of Plague, or it might kill me. Queen of Plague might... Ow! Forgot she does that. Why? Um... I don't like that my weapon was just going fucking through her. That sucked. That sucked that I was doing attacks and they were doing nothing. It's kind of unfair. But whatever, I won at the cost of half my health. And please, one food gain card. Three food. The altar. It must be nice to be unpredictable. I am as bound. Yeah, let's pray to the old gods. What's the worst that could happen? Bend a knee, you beseech the gods, aid you in your quest. A distant rumbling and a flash of lightning answers your prayers. One blessing. Okay. Very nice indeed. Ratman hunting. Six of Plague. I don't know which is worse. Okay. Queen was definitely worse than that. Ten food and five food. Now that's some good shit. Yeah. And now I'm fucked. Queen of power. Oh. Spits fireballs. Totem prevents the death of her children. Oh good. Oh goody good. And there's four of them. And I have 42 health. Okay. Well. This run's done. No, oh, I want to attack the totem. Okay. That's good. Ow. They weren't kidding about powerful fireballs. But I've got a powerful weapon. Okay, okay, we got this. We got this. 1v1 me, scrub lord, I'm ripped! Why am I taking damage? I won! Holy hell! Holy shit! I should not have won that. Do you ever wonder if your fell hand and the damage are worthwhile. Petty treasures retrieved from death and disaster. <sighs> okay. Mithril, Assassin's Greed, Inferno Potion, Golem Hunting Party, Golem Hunting Party, Golem Hunting Party. Okay. Mr. Lionel, 
Goblin King Crown, Maze of Traps, and Goblins! Holy Forge, Forbidden Armor. Gain the praise of the gods of the old religion. Demon Trader, huh? Okay. Sounds fun. Movable object, shield breaker, enormous shield. King of Plague, huh? We come close to an end for all things. Okay, so that's the end of this run. Uh, and thus the end of this part of the stream. So for those of you watching archived, thank you for watching. I love you very much and I'll see you next time. Remember, Black Lives Matter, defund the police. Bye-bye!